nothing. When was the last time you did absolutely nothing? Can you remember? Most people are on holidays or have just returned from their holidays, so surely you've done a lot of doing nothing during that time. Or have you? The power of doing absolutely nothing is hugely underrated. We live in a world where if you're not doing anything, you're wasting your time. Or you just get bored because you're not used to it. I would go as far as saying that we're so used to being on the go all the time that we are now incapable of doing nothing. When in fact, doing nothing is one of the most important things you can do for yourself. Let me start by clarifying what I mean by nothing. It's not spending time on your phone or listening to a podcast or watching Netflix or doing Sudoku. What? I mean just being in the moment, existing if you will. Now this sounds a lot like meditating and if you do it long enough it kind of is. But I'm willing to bet that if you try it right now, if you stop watching this video and just decide to exist in the moment, you know, without doing anything else for let's say half an hour, you will struggle. On second thought, try it after watching this video, okay? The reason I know this is because whenever I try it, I struggle. A lot. In fact, if you've been watching my get out of your comfort zone challenge, you saw how hard it was for me to spend an hour doing nothing because my hands and my face were covered in honey. Make no mistake, my struggle and the whole point of that challenge is as much about doing nothing for an hour as it is about having honey drip down my face. And as you probably saw, I failed miserably. I got annoyed, fidgety, I couldn't stop moving, it was a mess. During that time, all I could think of was all I had on my to-do list for that day. You know, how delayed that was getting, or how I was going to edit that video, or what thumbnail I was going to make, or the right title. You know, I felt so bad and I just couldn't figure out why. I have been called lazy so many times in my life, I actually started believing it. So whenever I don't do anything, I feel guilty and, you guessed it, lazy. Also, existing and doing nothing gives you all this time to think. And when you're trying to avoid certain feelings and certain thoughts, it's not a comfortable thing to do at all. And I guess it's just not the dumb thing. Hey, how was your weekend? Oh, it was fine, you know, I just existed. You know, stared at the ceiling and did absolutely nothing. What do you mean? You just wasted a whole weekend staring at the ceiling? Yeah, pretty much. It was awesome. Yeah, that will not go down well. But what we all need to keep in mind is you need the nothing, you know, to shut down your brain, to quiet the noise inside your head, to connect with yourself and listen to what you actually have to say, to get to know yourself better and scare a notion, become okay with the idea of spending time by yourself, no distractions required. Everything starts from nothing. Now more than ever, we see people struggling to sleep at night because they just can't shut their brains down. You see more and more people experiencing burnout because they have pushed themselves too hard and just don't know where to stop. How is it that with all the knowledge and technology available to us, we have managed to make our lives worse than the previous generations? Because if you think about it, our grandparents and their parents and all the previous generations had more than enough opportunities to just do nothing because there was nothing to do. <laughs> and somewhere along the way, we decided that that was a bad thing. What if everything we've ever wanted came from us taking the time to do nothing? What if it's not about being on the go and never stopping? What if it's the complete opposite? Okay, so maybe I haven't totally convinced you, but here's an idea. The next time you have a bit of free time and you're wondering what you'll fill it up with, why not put away your phone or that book or the remote and just do nothing and find out for yourself. 